The wheel came off at 70 miles an hour, but that was a fun, a fun ride. So I don't know if you can tell, but it's starting to rain. This is my sad face. All right, now I'm leaving the rain and I'm going inside. What I'm gonna try to do is, uh, a lot of you seem to like it. I'm gonna try to commentate again as the auction's going on. All right, here's a good one for us to check. It's a 2013 CRV. It's got 83,000 miles on it. The outside looks uh, looks pretty good. Inside actually looks very good. Little little bit of stainage over there. Actually, it looks worse on the camera than it does in real life. But there's stains there. Um, overall, I think the inside looks pretty good, with the exception of that one seat. Um, but we'll check this. A lot of people ask for CRVs and uh, what the, what they're bringing through uh, through the auction. But it's a 2013 CRV. It's got 83,000 miles. So here's a look at all of the in ops, which are just basically the non runners. There's something majorly wrong. I mean, missing missing things that would uh, keep them from from running through the auction, like a t like a tire, a wheel. <laughs> What's that? The wheel came off at 70 miles an hour. <laughs> the the guy who runs the auction just told me. So, but that was a fun a fun ride. Here's the BMW that was actually here last week. This happens quite often that they'll run a car through auction and they will not sell it. And uh, there was a star of the show from last week. So um, they cut a hole in the side of the they cut a hole in the outside of the door to get to the inside of the door to fix it. There you go. Here's a good one, it's a 2011 Silverado. It's got 135,000 miles. The outside actually looks fantastic. I like this color too. Um, inside is, it looks just okay. Uh, I don't like when they but, uh, don't have a center console. It's just like a bench seat. Um, but overall, it looks pretty good. It's a 2011 Silverado. It's got 135,000 miles. So I actually haven't shown this in a while. This is before the auction. They have this line of cars right here that are they're in ops. Basically, they will not run. There's something wrong with them, motor. Some, it, either way, they, they will not run through the auction. Uh, so they're actually auctioning them off outside. And this guy right here is actually the auctioneer and uh, everyone that's uh, that's around are the are the bidders. The guy in the blue is uh, is called the floor. He's basically trying to just grab bids from people and entice them to bid more. He just said, please. <laughs> They're at three grand on this Tacoma that's right here. And they sold it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out more than you would know. And like this video, I'd really, really appreciate it. Here's another going for us to check. This is a 2018 Jeep. It's it's a Wrangler. It's got 83,000 miles, bright red, and it's trail rated four by four, four doors. Um, looks great on the outside. That red really pops. Um, inside looks pretty good. Actually, inside looks really good. It needs to be cleaned up, but it's not so bad. This is a 2000, actually I forgot the year already. 2018? Yeah, 2018, it's got 83,000 miles on it. Here's a Highlander we can check. It's a 2006, it's got 168,000 miles. Um, outside of it, it's just okay. It's a few little dents and dings here and there. Um, inside, I mean, some stained seats. It's a, it's a uh, older, older vehicle, so as you can imagine, the inside's not perfect, but we'll check to see what the price of it is. Anyway, it's a 2006 Highlander. It's got 168,000 miles on it. All right, sir, so in your opinion, is your boss outstanding? Fantastic or excellent? Put me on the spot, eh? He's all right. You're fired. <laughs> All right, here's a good one for us to check. It's a 2017 Altima. It's got uh, only 68,000 miles, so good miles for this year. Outside looks great. Um, inside actually looks pretty good too. A little clean up, but not too much. Um, we'll check this one inside, see what kind of uh, price this one brings. It's a 2017 Altima, 68,000 miles. All right, now I'm leaving the rain and I'm going inside. What I'm going to try to do is... Uh, a lot of you seem to like it. I'm gonna try to commentate again as the auction's going on. So, yes, commentate's a word. That one dude that said commentate is not a word. It's a word. I looked it up. It's a word, and I know what I'm talking about. 
You can hear it getting loud now. I'm going to start yelling into the mic because you're not going to be able to hear me if I don't. All right, to kind of talk about what's going on here. So in the middle right there is the auctioneer. He's not going right now, but he will in a second. To the left of him is a lady who is putting in the data as it's coming in, so all the bids. Um, so when they sell a vehicle, if they put on a phone call, if uh, they no sell, she's actually putting it into a laptop in front of her, and that's being sent to the to main office. Um, the guy to the right of the auctioneer is one of the sellers, and he's got a sheet in front of him saying how much he needs for these vehicles, letting the auctioneer know, and he'll let him know whether to sell it or not to sell it. Um, this guy on the floor in the blue shirt, he uh, is trying to just get bids out of people and you'll hear him being the one that yells uh, but this is a Silverado we checked out coming through right now they're at 10,000 they just jumped up all the way up to 11 grand real fast they're up to 11.3 11.4 11, 11.5 11, 11.6 11.7 11, 11.8 they're at 12 grand now. That fist he's holding up means he's got the bidder. That's the highest amount right there. He's, he says he's got 12000 He just asked, and they said sold. So he sold it for $12,000. And when they call it that number, that's the number that corresponds to the bidder who was the highest. So uh, the lady beside him knows to put in that bidder to go with that car for that amount of money. All right, so we got that uh, CRV coming in right here. The guy on the bottom, he's trying to get bids out of people on the floor, and the sellers are to the right of the auctioneer. They're at 11.4, 11.7, 11.8, 12, 12.4. He's asking for 12.4. He's on 12.3 right now. Is that sell for 12.3? Yep, they sold it. 12.3. Alright, so you see this Highlander that's coming in, that's one we checked. But they're still running up numbers right now. That is on the vehicle that just left. So even though that they're still bidding off a car right now, they try to keep the cars moving, so they'll actually run out a car. They'll they'll move it out of the lane, even though they're they're still trying to uh, to to bid on it. Okay, now they just finished with that last car. They're going to now roll up this uh, this Highlander to show that this is the one that's going to be on the on the bid lane right now. On the bid lane, on the the bid lot, whatever you want to call it. This is the one that's uh, that's uh, going to be ran through the auction this time. And you notice that the auctioneer always starts way higher than what the number will actually be that it starts at. He started at 4000 but no one bid on it. And they finally dropped it to 2000 And then somebody immediately hit it up at 3000 We're at $3,500 right now. 37 He's asking for 37 He got 3600 and he sold it. All right, so here's the Ultima that we want to check out. Um, so even though it's just rolling in now, uh, they're still working on the car that was beforehand. They sold it, so now they're going to go on to the new car. So the auctioneer will start out at 14.5, but he knows that it's not going to start anywhere near that. He's just throwing out a bunch of numbers to try to get somebody to, to start the bidding. It'll probably start somewhere around like 10 grand. He dropped it to 10 grand. Oh, yeah, he says he's got a number. He says going up, meaning he's got money, so he started at $10,000. So my bid, we're at 10 one. 10-3, You see that car is out, but they're bringing the next car in, but we're still bidding on that Nissan. They got up to 11000 He's asking the seller. He says it's got thirteen in it. Who knows if that's true? 
says we'll drop it at 12-5 if he wants it. They're trying to negotiate on the block basically right now. On the block just means right here. Oxier's begging for help. Yep, they just went on the next one, so that means no sell. He's asking for 28, dropped it down 27, dropped it down to 26, dropped it down 25.5, still no bidders on it. Dropped it to 25, still no bidders. All right, start at 20 grand. So even though it's rolling out, they're still going to try to get more money out of it while it's outside. He's still asking for 20 grand. They just put it on a phone call. Only one bid, so they're probably way far apart. All right, so that's difficult to do. I'm already losing my voice. So uh, if you enjoy me actually commentating while I'm in there at the auction, we're going to have to find a different way. i got to figure out some uh, noise-canceling headphones, but then I won't be able to hear. So uh, if you have any suggestions, put them down in the comments. There's an Infinity we checked out last week. It was a no-sell, so they're just running again this week. Well, I haven't seen used car prices go down yet. Yeah, and you, you really shouldn't yet because what happens as wholesale prices come down, it takes a long time. It, there's a lag effect that, that goes from the wholesale market to the retail market. So as wholesale prices are coming down and as the value of these vehicles that you see behind me are going down, then used car dealers have to actually stay with the market or ahead of the market to be able to sell. They're going to go through this time period where they say, okay, we're not selling these cars, so we need to lower our prices a little bit. But by the time they figure that out, the prices have even lowered further. So they're just going to continue to stay one step behind. And what happens is that uh, the whole market is going to just slowly move down as dealers are not selling for these elevated prices. So that's why you're not seeing a whole lot of movement right now on the retail side. We're seeing on the on the wholesale side, you can look at the char uh, charts from um, Cox Automotive, seeing that the wholesale data, seeing that the prices, the values of these wholesale cars, they're coming down but it's going to take some time. Retail always lags wholesale and you're going to, uh, you're going to need a few months for these dealers to kind of like click and uh, figure out that they can't sell right now for what they were selling for two months ago. And it's going to take them time to wake up and realize what's happening in the market. So I don't know if you can tell, but it's starting to rain. This is my sad face. This is what I do when it rains at auctions because I still have to be here and even doubly now because I get to spend more time here not only looking for cars to buy for my business but I'm making you a video. So you better subscribe and you better hit the like button. You've been warned. <laughs>